Hello everybody. I'm just going to do a quick video here because gosh, you know, I actually made you a nice beautiful video. You guys already know what this one's about. The titles that give them away. Showing off uh, my beautiful mother plant for these guys. And I was digging her up, separated the two suckers on her. And yeah, I had a nice video talking to you guys. And for whatever reason on my camera here, it won't download. The same file doesn't exist. I have like zero tech savviness, guys. I play in the dirt all day, okay? That's, that's what I do. <laughs> I eat dirt, guys. <laughs> Look at my fingers after, you know, sticking in the metal. <laughs> anyway, it's on the camera, but it won't let me download. The same doesn't exist. I don't know. Whatever. So I'm here making another one for it. I'm going to try and keep it short. Those right there are May May Sapote, by the way. Gosh, must have plants. Especially the holidays coming up. If you've never had one, sweet potato pie, guys. Pumpkin, well, not pumpkin, definitely sweet potato. Sweet potato pie flavored fruit, guys. Absolutely amazing. I do have a banana, by the way, that kind of tastes like that. The, uh, Alana Tagua. Oh, deep, rich, spicy, holiday flavor. Amazing banana. Short cycle, too. But anyway, these guys, the Royal Hawaiian Variegated Bananas. And I'm not entirely sure if I'm saying the name right, but this is the way I've heard it. It's I I said with a Hawaiian, native Hawaiian language accent kind of thing. It's spelled A E A E. And my brother was based in Hawaii. And he said that's kind of how it's, it's uh, has a weird sound to it when they say it, apparently. I don't know. I have no idea. So I just call it I.I. I. It's the closest I've heard. And yeah, one of the, possibly the first original, you know, of variegated bananas. It's got some history over on the islands and everything. Beautiful plants. Very stable variegation, very high amount of variegation, does not burn that easily, and the plants are, you know, producing a nice sized bunches, 40, 50 pounds on a healthy, nice plant, 8 to 10 foot stock, depending, you know, there's a, var there's a variables that depend on height on a lot of bananas, same with these, but absolutely gorgeous bananas, guys. And even though they are variegated, you know, a lot of people do it for looks. If I'm going to buy something, I want it to taste good. I want some fruit off of it. There's quite a few, not quite a few, a few variegated mutations out there these days. And not all of them fruit, so I don't see the point of getting them. But these guys do. These guys push out a nice fruit. It's kind of in between cooking and a fresh eating, dual purpose fruit, like a lot of the whole island bananas, Hawaiian bananas, and very good for cooking, better frying. I didn't think it was that great boiled. I got a beautiful bunch last year. This year I did not get a bunch off of it. You know, everything was behind this year. We had a really dry start, and these guys were way behind. But definitely dual purpose. Nice for eating fresh if you let it get ripe. Good for frying. My fungo kind of things, chips. If you're going to eat it green. But beautiful variegated fruit. These guys get full size. Stunning variegated fruit. The leaves are absolutely gorgeous. This one is beat up. My other video. I got some beautiful shots of the leaves. Before I trimmed them up and potted them. And gosh I'm upset that you guys aren't seeing it. Because these beautiful man. You can see right there. Absolutely stunning. But um, cold tolerance, you know, is medium. They recover fairly well. Drought tolerance for this variegated is very good. They like it a bit drier. They can take it drier. Rich soil, but on the drier side, they're good with. They do really well here in Florida. And if you've got, you know, farther north, a large pot, they'd probably do very well in a large pot for you. Yes. What else can we talk about, guys? Oh, the fruit, the height on them. Look at what I say. 
8 to 10 feet. It's about right. You know, depending on full sun, how old the plants are, stuff like that. If you are interested, this sucker right here, possibly another one, are for sale. So check out the description below, guys. If my email is there, I've got one for you. These guys, at one point, were extremely rare. Very, very rare. And then they became not common, but you could find them for a decent price. You know, I'm talking hundreds and hundreds. <laughs> I originally paid <laughs> almost 2000 for my plant. This was uh, six, seven years ago. And I think it was like 1900 I paid. And the reason they're so rare, like a lot of these variegated, is they just don't sucker very well. You know, my mother plant had two suckers on her this year. That was it. So, you know. And, uh, well. Do I need to say anything else? I mean, grow food, guys, right? But why not grow beautiful looking food, right? Right? Use it as a centerpiece in your garden, you know. Beautiful. Build a shrine for it, you know. Gorgeous variegated banana that you can also get some delicious food off of. It's a win-win. Nobody loses, guys. So, go ahead. Get yourself a variegated royal Hawaiian banana. I guess, you know, royalty had a thing for it back in the day over in the islands. Right? Who wouldn't? Get yourself some beautiful variegated leaves and just roll in them. Makes you feel rich. <laughs> Yeah, this one is actually very well rooted. All right, pushing out a leaf. I made my first video a couple days ago. This has been potted for uh, two, a couple days now. And gosh, I'm beating myself up because I was really showing her off my mother plant. And even these guys had some beautiful leaves on them. The eye eye here are just beautifully variegated, heavily variegated, and absolutely stunning. And the one thing I like about these is every once in a while, they'll throw you a treat. And they will push out that new leaf, and it'll have some red in it. Oh, when they do that, it is mind-blowingly beautiful. So there you go, guys. A little short video. Some banana talk for you on the Hawaiian royal bananas. The I.I. -I. <laughs> Probably butchering that. Ah. That's alright, that's what we'll call it. <laughs> and yeah, do the whole like and subscribe thing, guys. And grow food. Keep watching me wherever you're watching this from. I post videos all over the place. Yeah, talk a lot. It's kind of unnerving sometimes, I've found that. You know, people actually... Hey, I saw your YouTube video here. Yeah, I'm messaging your... Hey, yeah. wow, really, you recognize me. E. <laughs> I don't know, kind of weird sometimes, kind of weird. I'm not narcissistic enough to really want to have people watching, you know, it's just weird sometimes. But whatever, guys, if my email is down below, I may have one of these for you. Shoot me an email. I promise. I won't charge you the 2000 I originally paid for my plant. But uh, they're still pretty expensive. Just a heads up. They're not cheap. Again, my bananas are fairly well taken care of. I only got two suckers off of her. That's it. Two suckers. So, just so you know. And I'm not into the whole micro-propagation. Little weak, tiny plants. You know, pfft. I'm not screwing around with you guys. If you want this one, she's beautiful, well-rooted. I cannot send to Hawaii or California. Oh, they're cracking down hard. And, you know, I've never shipped there anyways, guys. I don't. So, you know, lower 47 only, guys. But hit me up. Get yourself one. Because they are one of a kind. Extremely rare. Beautiful, delicious bananas. Grow food, guys. Love you.
See you later.